Yesterday morning at 2.41 a.m. at General Eisenhower's headquarters, General Jodl, the representative of the German High Command and of Grand Admiral Dönitz, the designated head of the German state, signed the act of unconditional surrender of all German land, sea, and air forces in Europe to the Allied Expeditionary Forces. Here. I never really noticed how beautiful this place can get. What the hell are you talking about? The landscape. I spent so much time here and never stopped to look at how beautiful it is. You know, now that the war's over, I think I might bring Mary back here to see all this. Well, I hope she likes sauerkraut and Nazis. You know what they call this in German? Das schöne Land. The beautiful land. Look, kid, I know you're a translator and all. But why in the hell would you want to bring somebody back to this shithole country? What's wrong with you? I've been moody ever since you left HQ. War's over. It's our last mission and then we're going home. Aren't you excited? I've been thinking about stuff. About what? Do you remember that kid Jenkins? Private. He was a short, skinny kid, always quick with the jokes. Yeah. <laughs> that kid was a goofball. Do you remember how he always used to imitate Captain Reynolds during inspection? Be right behind him, that sleep, ready to go that hyper voice. Dad John! <laughs> that kid used to make me laugh so hard I'd piss my pants. I haven't thought about that kid in a long time. Ever since the crowd surrendered, I think about that kid every day. Remember a time we were in a trench in Bastogne? Freezing our asses out. I start coughing. Just hack it. I'm in bad shape. So, he offers to go give me a cup of coffee.
Hopefully that cup had been just a few inches closer. I don't know how you can be so excited. Like, none of this ever happened. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I've been thinking about what you said. Hey, man, it's all right. No, no, just, just hear me out. I think about guys like Jenkins, too. Close my eyes at night and hear the bombs at Bastogne, bullets at Normandy, stench of the bodies at Foy. Do you want to know the one thing I think about most? Yankee Stadium. What does baseball have to do with it? Oh, listen. The smell of the grass, crack of the bat. Mostly I hear my kid brother and pops cheering on DiMaggio. I guess after all the shit we've seen, I don't know. I needed to remember. Remember what? I'm not just a soldier. For all the death and destruction we've seen, I, I can go home and live a normal life, you know? See Mary, my folks, play catch with my kid. <laughs> I'm done with death. Now I get to go home and just be a man. It does make sense. Yankee Stadium. God, I would kill for a beer and a dog right now. Oh. Be sitting there in an afternoon breeze. Oh. <laughs> you know, I've always been a Red Sox fan, right? Oh, really? Some bitches lost the war. Let's go tell this poor bastard the war's over. Hey, hey, hold on. Let me get the white flag. Hey! Well, Elm! How's that shit working out for you? Joe! Come! Uh. Come! Stay still! Stay still! It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Stay still. You're okay.
Wake up, you sack of shit. Nita. Nita, Bovinish. She seemed Americana. Shut the fuck up. Read it. Read it! We were on our way to tell you the war's over. Vita. 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 Wait, five seconds. Yeah. Vita. Nine. Vita. Vita. 